Okay, this is more about the funnel that only gives us one or two alternatives when there's really a lot more of them. Now, we hear a lot about the economic troubles in Greece as if Greece represented all of Europe. But there are 44 countries in Europe. And several of them have made strong recoveries from the economic downturn of 2008, um, stronger recoveries than the United States has. Sweden is one example. One reason for Sweden's uh, more rapid recovery is that their social welfare system already provided basic subsistence and, and services to people who lose their jobs. So the Swedes didn't need to pass a special stimulus program that would take months or years to, to kick in. When everybody has money to spend for basic goods and services, the economy grows faster. Another reason uh, for Sweden's um, more rapid recovery is that a previous recession in the 1990s scared the bankers and the bank regulators so that they were not making risky real estate loans in the mid-2000s like the rest of the world seemed to be doing. Another country that came through the financial crisis in pretty good shape was Iceland. The new head of the IMF, uh, International Monetary Fund, Christine Lagarde, uh, referred to Iceland's recovery as impressive. The country was pretty desperate in 2008 when debts to investors and banks grew to 11 times the size of the entire economy. Um, no way could Iceland bank, uh, bail out those bank investors. Instead, uh, Iceland let the banks fail and did not make taxpayers pay the tab. Also, Iceland prosecuted bankers who had committed fraud, unlike some countries, restoring trust in their financial system. There are many alternatives to the austerity programs that the Troika, that is the European Central Bank, the International Monetary Fund, and the uh, European Union bu bureaucracies have been imposing on Greece and other countries. Economist Ellen Brown points out that the European Central Bank, like the United States Federal Reserve, broke a lot of rules in order to save the banks. She says rules that can be bent for banks can be bent for the people. Not just the Greece, Greeks, but the Irish, Italians, Spanish, Portuguese, and other, others lined up behind them. One alternative is for the Greek government to issue drachmas for its own use within the country to hire workers to build infrastructure and to expand social services while bypassing the banking sector. This would put people back to work, spending and paying taxes. No law says that there has to be only one currency. Uh, another alternative, economic analyst George Casarios uh, suggests that um, according to the law, the Greek central bank can perform any function that the European central bank can, including issuing euros. In fact, it has already printed 44 billion euros, as did the Irish central bank. The Greek government could give enough euros, could print enough euros to refinance its sovereign debt and pay the interest to itself instead of to the banks. Brown says Canada borrowed from its own central Canada borrowed from its own central bank for 25 years to rebuild its infrastructure and social programs without causing inflation or increasing its national debt. These are just some of the alternatives, and some of them might also work in the United States. So look up Ellen Brown.